done next gen collector. Hey, I got a delivery here. Made out to a next gen collector, also known as comic degenerate, but formerly known as loser. Hey, I don't care whose books you're delivering. You're not going to come in my house and berate me. Hey, man, I deliver books. Now shut your trap, sign for these, so I can leave. God, it's not that serious. Just give me the pen. Thanks. Must be a real hood with the ladies, huh? Later, loser. That was, like, just weird. But you know what isn't weird? This amazing unboxing. We're unboxing three packages. One from my comic shop. Two from Whatnot slash and LCS. So is LCS doing from Whatnot. And three from a person you may have seen around here whose name might rhyme with Stan. Let's flip this baby around and get into it. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm Hayden, a.k.a. The Next Gen Collector. And this little full warning, the lighting in this video is pretty terrible because I'm filming this close to night and... If you've seen the previous video, I actually have no overhead lighting, so daylight's going, so we gotta get through this unboxing quick. But I'm gonna start our first with our box from my comic shop. So my comic shop, right? Everyone knows pretty much what my comic shop is, and if you don't, it's actually an online comic book retailer that a lot of people use to actually run, fill, and get back issues. And I know a lot of people actually like Steppo Collecto 6 on Instagram, um, and Alan the Comic Collector Geek actually used to get some bigger books as well. So overall, great platform. They undergrade their books, so you are usually thoroughly surprised whenever you actually get them in the mail. Um, but I use it to mainly fill runs. I do have a couple books on there that I'm kind of looking at that are bigger, but I mainly have made my purchases through them just to run fill. So, so getting into this box, cool little, I don't know. I, I've never seen a Gemini like this before, but stack tape to the back of this thing. Whatever. Um, and let's see if I can get, get back into this bad boy. Whoop. All right. Oh, schmoly. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Comic brick here, a little mini brick invoice on the back of the books. I got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books in this package for a total of $61.99 plus shop, shopping, shopping, shipping, taxes, etc., etc. But these are all Invincible related books. As you guys know, I love Invincible. He's sick and the show is sick and the series is really sick if you haven't read it. But let's just go through these with no particular order. So first up, I don't believe any of these are keys. If they are, I'll toss them up. But first up, we have Invisible number 54 here. I'll get in sort of close. Maybe it'll focus in. Just run filler, good stuff. We have Invincible number 80. This is the highest issue I needed left. So I think everything now is below in the 50 area. Great Dinosaurus cover. Lower book here, Invincible number 25. I think that actually this is a key. It might be the first appearance of this guy right here. Maybe, I don't know. I'll toss it up. One issue below, Invincible number 24. Great lower issue here, harder to come by. I got it for a decent deal in my comic shop. And next up here, probably my favorite cover of the bunch, we have Invincible number 22 with uh, Mark and Amber there, kind of, I don't know, it's a quirky cover. Uh, 22, shout out 22 Comics, you know him, anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's just a cool cover. I don't think it's a key. It's usually one of the lower priced issues in that under 30 range. Um, if you've only watched the show in the comic book, this is actually what, whoop, focus. That's what Amber looks like. And second to last year is actually a pretty cool book that I don't think a lot of people know about. It's actually The Brit number seven. Um, I am very, no clue anything about the series, but for whatever reason, guest starring Invincible. But yeah, I have actually no idea what the series is, what goes on in this book, but this one I'm actually pretty happy to read to kind of see how my main man Mark ends up in whatever universe or whatever's kind of going on here. So let me pick this one up. And last actually is an Invincible book, I lied. This is actually Berserker number one. Uh, this is the variant cover, it's like cover B, I believe, by Mark Brooks. And he's actually going to be in Knoxville, Tennessee on free comic book day doing free signings. So I just needed to get a book from him because I'm gonna be there anyway. So I got this one. Cause I've read the first two volumes of Berserk uh, by Keanu Reeves, you know who he is, jo actor John Wick, uh, Neo from The Matrix. I mean, who doesn't know Keanu Reeves, right? But this is actually his comic book, uh, I'm not sure what his like extent was. I think he kind of was, I don't know. He was heavily involved obviously with the creation of it. Um, and the character literally looks like exactly like him. Um, there's like a million variant covers where it's just him on the cover, but I don't know. I'm really happy to go get this one signed. Uh, I mean, it's this copy looks like perfect. So uh, CGC's there, maybe I'll get it graded, probably won't. I mean, it's doing free signing, so I don't want to be 
you know, waste any more money than I need to. But sneak peek to what's to come, free comic book day. I will be getting this signed and hopefully getting some, you know, good books and such because they're actually having some crazy deals like uh, buy two slabs, get one free. Same thing with back issues, half price omnibus and trade paperback. So I don't know. You will see that video in the future, but Berserk number one. Picked up is a bigger box because my LCS back in Knoxville, Nebrana Comics, uh, you know, tossed their logo up here. Great group of guys, gals, the whole crew. Awesome. Uh, they actually did a live stream on Whatnot. Everyone knows what Whatnot is. Not going to bother explaining that. Live auction platform. Um, and I actually got a lot of books from them. Uh, it wasn't as popping as, you know, a lot of Whatnot streams are. So I was able to get some really good deals. But I'm going to dive into this big bad boy right now. And you might be wondering, hey, why are you just like cutting this box so close to your face? Um, it's because I want to and I'm a professional, right? I'm a professional YouTuber where unboxings is like a thing, right? So like I just like do this for a living, but like not really the whole like part where I could live off of it, but I like, I do it. All right, crazy looking box here. I guess if any of you comic book dealer dudes out there, I guess this is how you get your comic books. But uh, let's get through the layers of bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, this is like really well packaged. I mean, all this bubble wrap and stuff for this stack of books. Oh my lord, I forgot how many books I got. Ugh. Big comic brick! But I paid probably around average a dollar, to no joke, probably five dollars for all of these like books. Um, I don't know, remember the exact amount, but I'll toss up my total amount that I spent on these and I did the kind of rough calculations of the rough, like estimated, very conservative FMB value. And yeah, I got an insane deal. But the first item that's pretty cool is actually a comics, uh, limited comics, like promo pack, I don't know, but it's from Walmart back in the day. And it actually includes X-Men number one, as you can see here on the back, uh, Spider-Man 2099, NFL superhero, and another book. But uh, I mean, I guess let's, let's just bust into it. I mean, these books are beat. Uh, I mainly, I got I think I got this for a dollar or maybe $2, uh, just because it looked cool. And do a kind of live unboxing of a old Walmart pack. Um, get in here. Let's take a look. So the Spider-Man 2099 is destroyed. This thing is disgusting. So it's bent to all hell. You can see like it's missing half the stuff. This X-Men one has an egregious spine roll. Uh, the spine roll on this X-Men one is absolutely egregious. This cage number one, I've actually never seen this book before. Um, it's actually in really good condition. It was on the inside. So that's pretty cool. Probably the book I was most interested in out of this like pack is NFL Super Pro number one. Uh, with Spider-Man and then this NFL dude on the cover. This one's actually in pretty good shape too. But yeah, I got all these for like four bucks, but I have a massive stack to still go through. So let's just start hammering through those. First up, a book I think I got for a dollar. Amazing Spider-Man number 158. This filling in that run. Newsy, great book here. Uh, all these are probably just in the VG to VF minus range, um, but glad to get this one. And what goes better with that than Amazing Spider-Man number 159, new stand as well. Great uh, Hammerhead, I believe, Hammerhead cover there. And a book I might have already, I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, Spider-Man number 171, team up here with Nova. I think this came out shortly after his first appearance. New stand, kind of egregious spine roll, but overall just happy to put it in and fill in the run. Amazing Spider-Man number 187, also in the new stand. Good cover there with good old Captain America. And it's still only 35 cents, shout out to that channel as well. Jumping a couple hundred issues, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 320, Todd McFarland art. And just to go with that, Amazing Spider-Man number 321, newsstand Todd McFarland art. Following up another book I already have, but I could not decline for a, I think this one I actually paid up for on accident, which is pretty dumb because I already have it, but Amazing Spider-Man number 322. Yeah, 322. I don't know, why am I speaking like that? What am I doing? Anyway, 322 here, Spider-Man going to the little Grand slam a jamma. Moving away from Spidey, we actually had the first appearance of the Heroes for Hire, like the team up group whenever these guys team up, uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist, $2 for this. A book I actually just picked up and showed, showcased on the channel, but I got this for basically like three bucks and it's in way better condition. The Uncanny X-Men, number 200, The Trial of Magneto, double issue, mega special, great mega M outfit, just a marvelous Magneto, a bunch of other M, this is great book, come on guys, got it for like, Three bucks, and this one's minty. Then we have the Uncanny X-Men number 256 here. Woo, this is a key. I basically got it because it was a key and then I got it for a dollar. For a dollar, come on, who wouldn't? 
I picked this book up on a whim for, once again, like a dollar. Uh, Spider-Man vs. Wolverine, I think it's actually like a $10 book. Death of Dead Leads, first appearance of somebody. Um, newsstand, and this copy is Minty. So, really happy to get this one. Uh, Spider-Man, one of my other favorite, my favorite X-Man right there, Wolverine. Going at it. I don't know. Cool book here. Great cover. Keeping this one. Showing some DC love. We actually have Nightwing number one. I think this one is a key as well. Um, but I don't know. I just, I mean, I like Nightwing. He's super sick. So uh, I just wanted to get a number one issue. I don't, this is obviously, I think it's like volume two in terms of like Nightwing. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Don't crucify me in the comments, but I'm probably going to read this one. Super sick. Another book here, which I literally just got because, I mean, why would you not grab these things up for like two bucks? Uh, this Batman, the like 89, Batman, like 89 comic book series, square bound book here. Um, I don't know. If you want this, reach out. I'm probably just going to toss it in a box and never think about it again. So, and the book that I was extremely happy to get for a solid, I actually bit myself up like an idiot, idiot. Uh, Batman 608, the first appearance of Thomas Elliot. Jim Lee art here, absolutely beautiful. Mm. Love Jim Lee. I love Jim Lee on Batman. He is so sick, but uh, very happy to pick this one up. And uh, I think I'm gonna have a really good book to pair with this here in this next box. But this is the last book that I got from Nirvana Comics on whatnot. But total fair market value is probably around there, very conservatively. I paid this equals that. I am not gonna sell all of them. I'll probably toss them in. I have a sell box. I kind of just toss stuff in. Um, so I don't know. Just it's nice to know that. Even though I spent some money, I equated some value back, if that makes sense. I don't know. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But let's get into this last box! All right, and this last box I actually got from a pretty big claim sale. I don't know if you heard it, but if you haven't, I'll go ahead and play the kind of like trailer that they had for it right now. <sighs> I gotta have a claim sale. But if I'm gonna do this, I'll need my claim sale team by my side. <gasps> Sales team, assemble! Sales team, assemble! How great was that, right? But I actually chose to spend my money with one seller in particular there. And if you are on Instagram, you definitely know who he is. And that is Dan's X-Men Comics. Overall, great gentleman. Really should be making a YouTube channel. Go to Instagram, DM him, be like, hey, go make a YouTube channel, man. But I got some books from him. He got me an amazing deal. Great customer service. Send me a picture of all the books, everything. No pressure, Dan. I'm finna unveil your packaging here. But already looking good. We had the Thick Boy Mailer. And then with inside of that, we got this uh, Postal Wrap Bubble Mailer thing. Man, I'll tell you what, when I said the pressure is on, man's does not disappoint. Inside the bubble wrap, in between the pieces of cardboard. This might be, Dan, I'm not trying to boost your ego, all right? Might be some of the best packaging for only buying four bucks I've ever seen. And while I'm unboxing this, pro tip for you gamers out there, pull tabs. Pull tabs. See that? Oh, want to see it again? Pull tab. It makes a world of a difference. If Dan can do it, you can do it. Come on! Dan, you dirty dog. I accidentally, I was getting it ready to show to the camera. And there's an extra book in here. Dan, you son of a gun. You're class act. Gentlemen, go over to Instagram. Right up here. Go follow this man. And tell him to make a YouTube channel. But go follow him. Ooh. Sorry! I need to stop looking for myself and show you guys. Ooh. I, this is so all over the place now because Dan's blowing me away with this everything. So, this is the book he gave me. New Mutants, number 58. And I'm going to toss up, you know, just to do him justice, close-ups of the books right here. For a free book, this is actually my first Mark Jewelers. And this man threw it in for free. Come on! He proved to you guys that he did it. I'll put up here on the camera... Man, you're making me go out of the way, man. Put up here on the camera of me showing the actual Mark Jewelers on the inside. So, that was for free. And now I'm never getting rid of it. Thanks, Dan. You have personal collection forever now. All right, but next up, I'm going to do the same thing with all Dan's books, put the good footage up. But what's a collection without a spawn number one? I personally do not have one. So, why not get one from a good old buddy, Dan's at X-Men's Comics. This one's very minty. I'm going to put up the footage here, but... 
come on. I mean, you gotta have a spawn one, right? So Dan had one at the perfect price. So I was like, eh, why not, right? To start off the first claim of the night, of the entire sale, let it be me, your boy, with Dan. Second book up that I claimed that night was a book that actually is gonna pair well with that 608 is Batman 609, the first appearance of Hush. It was very clutch that Dan literally just had all these books that I was looking for. Pretty convenient, huh? Dan, do you know something about me that I don't know you know? But beautiful, beautiful Jim Lee art here with Poison Ivy and Catwoman. Really going after the like Batman's Rogues Gallery. I'm trying to go off the cheaper ones, the more modern ones. Um, this is definitely one that was on the top of my list. Um, but very happy to get this one. Dang, I'm not going to lie, Dan, on this one. The last time I thought it was in way worse condition. This thing is minty. Near minty. It's not just minty. We have an unsuspecting book at first. But this is actually The Amazing Spider-Man number 36. And if you don't know what this book is, it came out actually uh, immediately after September 11th in 2001. So I really, really, really wanted this book just so I could read the story. Obviously, I know when this came out, it had to be, I mean, I was one years old whenever all this happened, 9-11. You know, everyone's got their own stories about it. I mean, it affected my life because I mean, literally the day after my dad deployed and my entire life trajectory sort of changed in terms of, you know, that whole situation. But sticking to comic books here, um, I don't know. I just really kind of wanted to read this one. Great minty condition, um, Spider-Man collector. So, I mean, overall, just really, really wanted to get this one. Dan gave me a great deal. What more to say? All right, I've been singing this man's praises, but you may have heard his name and be like, Hayden, Dan's X-Men comics, and you've bought in a Spawn book, a Batman book, and an Amazing Spider-Man book? What are you doing? No, I knew for a fact going into this show that I would have to buy an X-Men related book from this man. And what better book to do that than the first appearance of Cable himself, New Mutants number 87. Damn that glare and a new stand nonetheless. There's this green overspray situation going on and then there's some kind of foldage kind of going on the back with the clean and press. I'm sure the same would go crazy. But I'm glad to get this major X-Men character's first appearance from none other than the legendary X-Men collector himself. Damn, very happy to have this one in my collection. Look at these beautiful shots right here. I mean, come on, come on. So this was actually like my first claim sale experience where I actually bought books. So overall, very positive. And I mean, this is probably the best buying experience I've had online probably to date. So uh, this overall, this in really great mood, but you let me know what books you think were the best deals from my comic shop paying retail essentially value, if you consider their prices retail, the local comic shop where I like doubled my value or getting the probably best customer service and best packaging of the bunch, and maybe in the best books debatably to you, from good old Dan at X-Men Comics on the Colossus Collector hosted big ginormous sales team event. But I don't know, that's up to you guys. But if you like what you're seeing on here, like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff you hear everyone say, but really just subscribe, come on, come on, subscribe. But like and comment too, because that gets more people to see my videos, get the views up, get the subscribers up, it's all a part of the algorithm. But, God damn, freaking shadow. Ugh, anyway, dude, did you, look at this, crazy. But thank you guys for tuning in. I've been talking way too long. Let's go ahead and hit this outro and get out of here. Counter offer to Josh for one six. Holy snap. Don't buy the rogue, everybody. This one I saved, but the rogue one is gone. It is dead. <laughs> buy three, get one free. Next up, get out of here, you books. All right, we got Spider-Man <laughs> versus Wolverine. Nobody wants that shit anyway, right? All right, <laughs> Spider-Man versus Wolverine. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five. You know what? It's over. Too late. <coughs> you missed it. Uh, thank you very much. And just don't buy any of them. Just don't buy any of them. And uh, can you can you cut me out of this? <laughs>